Welcome to today's somatic yoga video. Begin by resting on your forearms on the ground. And place your hands by your side as if you're about to practice sphinx or a cobra pose. And press each finger down one at a time. And slowly raise your chest off the ground and lower it back down without trying to gaze up at anything and keep your neck in a neutral-ish position. This is to gently warm your spine up and to notice how this impacts your low back. You can stagger the placement of your hands to notice how one shoulder blade feels versus the other. And lower back down. Next, lift your chest off the ground along with your hands and forearms. Notice how your back feels as you remove the support of your hands making contact with the ground. And reach your arms forward, out to the side, and behind you as if you are swimming. But be sure to move slowly as your shoulders can be very complex. And rest your head on the ground and begin exploring the nuances of your legs. Bend one knee at a time and point your foot up to the ceiling. Notice how lifting your feet and legs off of the ground impacts your glutes and your low back. Notice, notice how it impacts your pelvis. Now, bend your right knee and allow your right heel to roll over onto your left side. Notice how it begins to pull the rest of your body leading up to your chest to roll onto the side. And use your hands for support and only roll over as far as you feel comfortable. And if you can, roll completely onto your back into supine position. And as slow as you can, roll back onto your belly. And switch sides, bend your left knee. This kind of movement can be really helpful for your low back as it addresses your superficial back line and you move in the spiral direction. And it's a nice and dynamic way to take care of your lower back versus just facing forward in a static cobra pose. Rest your forehead onto your forearms and begin lifting your chest off the ground, bringing your forearms up as well. Notice here what happens to your core and your pelvic tilt and your low back. And when you're done, rest on the side of your cheek. And that is our somatic yoga practice. Thanks for watching and thanks for practicing with me.